All right, here's a quick monthly refresh on how to find your eBay reports and import them into your eBay seller spreadsheet every month. You log into your eBay account, you click on my eBay and head to the seller hub. In the seller hub, you hover over payments, go to reports. Under the reports tab, you wanna have transaction report selected, all statuses, all transaction types, and then just put in the month dates, the beginning and end for whatever month you want to import in. Hit create report. You may have to wait a moment while it goes from in progress to be available to download. Click refresh. And uh, if you just click, keep clicking, you'll eventually get it. Click download. It's gonna save onto your computer hard drive. You can open it in your spreadsheet software of choice. Hover over this little square up here in the upper left-hand corner. Click it. It will select all of your data. You wanna copy it. Right click copy, control C, go over to your eBay seller spreadsheet and go to the light blue tab for whatever month you wanna import in. Click in the uppermost left cell, which is gonna be A1. Once you're in that cell, you can go to paste, control V, right click paste, whatever. And once you have that CSV data pasted in, you'll see amounts populate in the light blue rows of your monthly summary tab. A good thing to do at this point before you enter any other information is match your net profit for that month to your monthly statement from eBay, available under the statement tab. Look for the appropriate month. You can preview it or download it for your records if you want. Scroll down and that total transactions row should match your net profit for that same time period, and I do. Last thing we wanna do with eBay is check our monthly invoice to see if there are any missing fees that weren't listed on the CSV that we need to record this month. I can head to my invoices tab here in my seller hub and download the invoice for that same time period. Pull up the invoice, look for any fees. Remember, you can look at your spreadsheet directions where I have a little cheat sheet for you here. And then you wanna enter anything on your invoice that was not already entered when you imported in the CSV. So in this case, I have my 30 cent insertion fee, the subscription and one-time fees I entered in, um, add it together as a quick formula, the shipping fees, um, and that I put here, or you could also choose to put it under your postage costs, the promoted listing fees, which you can add to that, but I went ahead and put it under the advertising tab. Um, remember your final value fees are going to be, um, gross amount here, meaning before you adjusted them for any refunds or credits and they are net of any adjustments here. You can always double check that by opening a calculator, taking the amount from the invoice, which is $731.93, and then subtracting out the credited fees, which in this case is $1228. That's $719.65, so that matches to what was already imported in. My international fees are already there from the CSV. And then I have um, probably this one additional 15 cent credit that I subtracted out because it's a credit, so it reduces my expenses. And remember, anytime you need to um, drill into where these fees are to research whether you've already imported them in or not, you can scroll down to get the detail of what goes into each of those, search for transaction numbers or single amounts if you need to over on the CSV that you imported in. And that's how you enter those invoice fees. But that is how I would enter my eBay CSV and fees for the month. My remaining step is to enter any other sales from any other sources and any expenses um, from outside of eBay for the rest of the month in these appropriate tabs.